Virgo, this is why nobody believes anything that y'all say. This right here, the seven of cups, nine of pentacles in reverse, your energy, Virgo. This nine of cups in reverse as well. And this knight of pentacles, earth energy, earth and water, all I'm seeing is mud. This Virgo is you being stuck in your own way. This is you being stuck in your own head. And this may be a situation, Virgo, where you feel like you're too good for the options that you have in front of you. Virgo, you, this is feeling like a Capricorn reading coming from a Capricorn. You have options. Y'all keep talking about how you don't have these options in love, how these people are treating you bad. You have good people in front of you coming to offer you all these things, all different types of things. Not only that, but you're very abundant. And Virgo, what I'm getting with this nine of cups, nine of pentacles energy, earth sign family and cross watchers is that you are very comfortable being single. That's the thing. You like the freedom of being single and doing your own thing. There's a luxury to not having to think about anybody else and you're not being honest about that, Virgo. I see that. With this Knight of Pentacles, this is a suitor or suitors with the Seven of Cups having many options here, as well as illusion, you being worried about taking the wrong step here. You have so many options, Virgo. I feel like some of y'all aren't even dating. Y'all are just talking about how there ain't no good people out there and you're not even responding to the Tinder messages. You're not even responding to the plenty of fish messages. You just acting like it. With this Knight of Pentacles, this is solid and stable offers, but this Virgo could represent you. You being a solid and stable offer and you being in your own way because this Knight, while it is, it is the most solid and stable and has the most to offer Knight in all of the deck, it is the most slow moving. This has still has one foot on the ground. This isn't a bike in motion. You might be, this is you standing in your own way. Virgo, damn. Who was this person in the past that you were dealing with? Was it a water sign? Huh? Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. That's the reason why you've gotten so comfortable being alone here. Uh, didn't I tell you you weren't responding to those messages from people? Virgo, you got to do better. Leave the sign of this person in the past that burned you down in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, Earth Sign Family, because we're going to get through this together. You can do this. With the Seven of Pentacles, you're not, you're at a crossroads here about whether or not you actually want to be out here in these streets, laying up with somebody or not. You're not sure. And this Two of Swords, Air Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, we are in the um, sign of Libra right now, Aquarius. This could also be that you have a friend with benefits here. And maybe it's a situation where they're offering you more. Ooh, Virgo, for some of you, you have a friend with benefits and they're offering you more. And you're not sure if you want to take it here because of all the things you would be giving up if you had to deal with another person. You ain't fooling me. Let's clarify this nine of pentacles. Virgo, your energy here. Somebody being abundant, creative, in their own lane here. Single, beautiful. Stacking their chips, focusing on their work in school. Another seven here, the seven of swords. Didn't I say this was a friends with benefits here that's offering you more, but you're not sure if you want to take it. You're turning your back on that. This is ghosting, Virgo. This is somebody being sneaky, Virgo. And it could be that you're worried about somebody being sneaky with you from the past, bringing the past into the present, or this could be you that you like not getting attached to this person. So when this person is offering you all of these things and these other people are coming your way, pinging your phone on plenty of fish and all that, and you're ignoring them, you're not sure if you want to give up your freedom yet. This is, this to me is freedom. You're just not willing to express that. You don't want to tell people that you live in La Vida Loca and you like it with this nine of swords. More air sign energy here during this Libra season. This, talking about worry, anxiety. It could be and a heart here, love here on fire. Can you see that on camera? Nope. So let me move that on up. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. This nine of swords with this love on fire here and this heart here. This is you being anxious, nervous about being emotionally vulnerable here. Virgo, you're trying to be very logical and using your mind over your heart here. And that's why you're blocking these offers. 
you have offers coming in. I, I knew I couldn't trust y'all. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse to clarify this Nine of Cups. Seven, seven, seven. Somebody Google that and drop that in the comment section. That is major change coming. That's an angel number. This is a message. You're standing in your own way, Virgo. Period, point blank. We're only five minutes in. We could probably end this there. This is you not wanting to work on things. This is your energy, earth energy. This is even somebody coming in and begging you to work on this with them and you refusing. Virgo. Who is this person that's begging for you to give them an opportunity? This friend with benefits, this booty call here. That's leaving love letters on your nightstand for you, Virgo. And you're not pay it, you're not moving forward on that. Ooh. I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, this person is not only offering you an opportunity in love, but they want to really invest in it. This person's been watching you with the Seven of Swords. Virgo, have you been sending this person in circles? About a commitment here, what somebody wanting to get with you, and you're this Knight of Pentacles? Standing there, you're the total package here, but you're not giving somebody access to this, access to you when I say this. Eight of Cups here in reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, energy. This is you being half in, half out, Virgo. But this also symbolizes you having emotions in this too. You're also interested in this person. You just don't want to be vulnerable here. This is a lack of somebody wanting to be vulnerable. It scares you. The fact that you have feelings for this person or the fact that this person caught feelings and they're so close to you. That's more of a channeled message more than what's on these cards. But I feel like there's a lot of stress in getting close to somebody with the Seven of Cups and that's what you're avoiding. So it's not that people aren't coming your way. You haven't met somebody who's um, emotionally detached enough for you to commit to them, Virgo, is what I'm getting here. Because somebody's coming and they're trying to commit to you and you're giving them the cold shoulder. You're talking about moving on, how maybe you, you wanna take a job, offer somewhere else, giving this person all these types of mixed messages here, even though you wanna work on this with this Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You would really like to work on this. Again, this is another card in the bed, cuddling up with somebody. I feel like a lot of you Virgo folks are just denying yourself this because it's too scary to be emotionally vulnerable. And that's this nine of swords, being anxious about these emotions, stepping in. That's why you're half in, half out, one foot on the pedal, one foot on the ground. Page of Pentacles here in reverse, an immature offer of commitment here again, half in, half out. This is you sending this person mixed messages. For some of you, you have multiple suitors here. I, for all of you, you have multiple suitors. How about that? Where this resonates. But there's somebody that you're messing with that has that really has your attention. That maybe you was just supposed to be a friends with benefit thing, but now they've caught feelings and they really want to invest in this. And they've told you about it and it's changed the situation. It's put a lot of stress on you on this situation. You weren't really necessarily looking for this, but I feel like, Virgo, you also have feelings for this person and you could see yourself with this person. And that has you half in, half out nervous about your feelings. Boom. Big fire sign energy here with the queen of wands. This is you being focused on your bag, focusing on yourself. This gives me almost the same energy as the nine of pentacles, except somebody is needing attention here. Do you like Virgo being, whether you are male or female here, you like being a catch. You like that people can't tie you down. You like that you're attractive. You like that people had their eye on you here you like the cat and mouse chase the cat and mouse game here with this queen of wands energy that's what this is that's what this is this person is very attractive they're just as attractive as you i feel like they bring just the same amount of things to the table and because they mirror you so much it intimidates you on top of the fact that just being emotionally vulnerable shakes you up from your past as well but this person Without a doubt, no questions about it with this Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and this Queen of Wands here to clarify, this person only has eyes for you and they want to invest in you because they see you as hot stuff. They see you as a total passion. Which we already knew that, Virgo. We knew that you were gaslighting us. And with the sun energy, more big Leo energy, 
Again, drop this person's sign in the comment section. This is happiness triumph. The grass being greener on the other side here. You're about to get the win either way it goes. Some of you are going to give this person a chance here to move forward, to have this opportunity with you to grow, this brand new passion opportunity here. Ooh, Virgo. But for some of y'all, y'all are going to continue to have a hot girl fall and be single here and meet somebody later on. You're going to push this opportunity um, to the wayside here and you're going to regret it with the five of cups here. For those of you who don't take advantage of this person who's really coming to invest in you, that really is showing you that they're the real deal, holy field, that they're really invested in this, that they really care about you, that even though this was supposed to be something that was unemotional, was supposed to be something, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, or sir, whatever, has become something else. It grew into something else. And now this person really wants to build with you and give you this offer of love on top of these other people. This person also knows that they're in competition with others and that's why they're trying to invest and pin you down. And maybe that's also got you nervous and feeling a certain way as well, Virgo. King of Wands here. This person is being very bold, 1111, make a wish, claim it down in the comment section, whatever it is. This person being very bold in their pursuit of you. Oh yes, we have the king and the queen of wands. Like I said, this person matches your energy and that's what scares you too. It's like, damn, we're a lot alike. It could go really, really great or really, really bad. And that's the thing is if you take the chance, I feel like this person is willing to grow with you. This person is doing a lot trying to chase you down, trying to grow with you, trying to show you that they really want to make this work. Page of Wands, King of Wands, Page of Wands, Queen of Wands. What else do we need here? This is the whole damn family. This person wants to make it work with you. Do you want to make it work with them? Virgo, let me know down in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and I'll be checking in with you soon, Earthside family. Keep it real, actually.